competitive fun while you are back in Chicago to get to do anything uh, not football related? No, no, I'm I'm, uh, I'm avoiding all fun stuff. <laughs> I'm concentrating on uh, preparing ourselves for the season, I'm avoiding all fun things. Well, we lost three of our last four games last year, so um, you know, two by one point and one by three points in overtime. So, uh, you know, didn't like that feeling, and you know, it's, it's motivated us to uh, you know pour more time into the football team and our jobs, and give more effort, and pour more of our heart and soul into it, and avoid fun stuff. What about so the players? Like Are they avoid fun stuff? I hope so. Hope more so. Yeah, I hope they had the same feeling. I hope they, uh, you know, they didn't, they didn't like uh, losing those ball games because they won a lot of ball games too. They won like nine straight games. So there's a uh, you know, nothing better than the high five after a ball game. Nothing better than the high five. And uh, you know, that feeling compared to the one where you're losing a game in overtime or by one point, much better to to get the high five. Um, <clears throat> So I think a lot of guys on our team have learned that, and uh, I think it's you know made things a little hotter, a little more competitive in spring practice and and during summer conditioning, and uh, we'll find out where their, their mindset is next Monday when we start practice. Jim, what, what, did, what did Brandon Peters show you? Last week? He's elevated his game. Brandon Peters really elevated his game in uh, the spring. He's always noticed the really good uh, ability of arm talent from Brandon. Good natural thrower of the football, and, uh, but he elevated his game at a competitive level. Uh, he's, um, he's got a personality that's very quiet and very. Um, uh, he's kind of quiet. You know? and probably there's one thing that's easy to do as a quarterback: just take charge. You know, be loud, and uh, that doesn't come as natural to him. Um, and he's he came out. He was coming out of that. Coming out of that, How do you uh, work on that? I don't know. I mean, I just say, just take charge. You know, <laughs> be loud. It's really easy. Ha! <laughs> be loud. You know? Blue eighty, blue eighty. <laughs> That's the easiest thing about being a quarterback to me. Um, so, uh, so yeah, just be louder, Brandon, please. But he was coming out. He's coming out of it. You know, I mean, those 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 stadiums are very loud. There's a lot of people in them. But, uh, but yeah, that's he elevated his game. You know, really. Jim, what have you what have you noticed progress linebackers wise? Devin Bush, uh, Junior, Josh Mattel, those, those guys. What have you noticed progress wise? Well, I mean, again, another thing. I mean, we got a chance to be really good there. Um, Devin Bush, uh, Mike McCray, <coughs> uh, Noah Furbush, also adds a lot there. Um, Mike Rablewski, great, good, solid, kind of solid football player. There's some good young guys. Josh, Josh, uh, Cleek Hudson. I think he's got a, you know, got a chance to be a really good ball player. Uh, you know, there's some guys that can really, really emerge. I mean, you may see some true freshmen like uh, Luigi Villian, uh, Quiddy Pay be factors. You might see Drew Singleton really be a factor. Uh, you know, if they're good, if they're, you know, if they're ready, if they're, uh, you know, if they take coaching really well, uh, and then, then they got a chance to, chance to be good. So they got the license and the ability to be good. But now it's got to get it's got to get done. So a lot of that falls on us as coaches, falls on them as uh, as players, you know, and, and good listeners. Put your listening ears on and listen to Don Brown. You know, couldn't have a better coach coaching you. Um, so 